Hey friends, welcome to Cooking with Claudia. Today we're making pork pot roast. This is such a delicious, comforting dish to make this Christmas time. As much as I love beef pot roast, pork pot roast is also very delicious and way cheaper. Let's get started. We're using pork butt or pork shoulder for this recipe. I'm using bone in, but you can use boneless, although the bone adds a little flavor and tenderness to the meat. We're going to season the meat with some spices. We're using salt, black pepper, oregano, cumin, chili powder, garlic, and onion powder. Go ahead and mix all the spices together, then season the meat on all sides. Once the pork is very well seasoned, heat up some olive oil in a pan over medium-high heat. As soon as the oil gets very hot and smoky, place the pork in and then you're going to sear it on all sides, about two or three minutes per side. Searing the meat will give it a very good flavor in the slow cooker. If you burn it a little, don't be scared, it's all good flavor. Once the pork is seared on all sides, go ahead and transfer it into your slow cooker. Next, I'm going to grab my knife, then cut up some vegetables. We're going to saute all these carrots as well as some baby potatoes. Go ahead and throw the carrots and potatoes into the pan. Season with a little bit of salt and black pepper. Then let them saute on medium high heat for about 5 minutes. We want the veggies to caramelize a little and develop some flavor before throwing them into the slow cooker. Next, we're going to make a delicious gravy for the pork roast. I'm melting some butter in the same pan, then I'm throwing in some minced onion. We're going to saute the onion for about 2 minutes. While that is cooking, go ahead and mince some garlic, then add to the pan. Saute the garlic and onion for 30 seconds or until the garlic begins to get flavorful, then add some all-purpose flour. Mix in the flour, then cook for 1 minute. And then pour in some apple juice. Apples or apple juice pair so well with pork. Go ahead and whisk the apple juice in very well. Then cook until the sauce thickens just like this. Next, we're adding some sweet chili sauce, Worcestershire sauce, and some chicken bouillon cubes. Go ahead and mix everything together very well, then allow the sauce to simmer for about a minute. That way all the flavors can come together. Next, you're going to pour the sauce all over the meat and vegetables. Then give the slow cooker a shake, that way the sauce can get everywhere. For a fresh flavor, we're going to add some sprigs of rosemary and some fresh thyme. Place the slow cooker lid on, then let the pork slow cook for 8 hours on low. So it's been 8 hours and the pork roast has finished slow cooking. Discard all the herbs cause they've finished flavoring the meat. The aroma from the pork roast will make your home smell so good. Before you serve this, make sure you skim off all the excess oil. My favorite way to enjoy any pot roast recipe is to serve with a baked sweet potato. They pair so well together. You can also make this into a pulled pork recipe by shredding the meat, then adding some barbecue sauce, then putting it in a sandwich. Or you can just enjoy it as it is. It is so delicious and comforting. The meat came out very tender and flavorful and all the vegetables are soft and delicious. As much as I love beef pot roast, pork pot roast is a way cheaper alternative so you can keep that in mind. If you want all the ingredients and measurements check the description box.